Even if you've never purchased a home, you've probably heard of Fannie Mae. This government-sponsored enterprise, also known as a GSE, plays a crucial role in funding the housing market and ensuring that homeowners can access a range of affordable loans. But they don't lend money themselves, which can leave homeowners confused about where they fit into the picture. What is Fannie Mae? Fannie Mae, or the Federal National Mortgage Association, was created by Congress to help liquidate the housing market. While it doesn't originate or underwrite mortgages, it does buy them from banks, credit unions, and other mortgage lenders, injecting cash into the market and driving down interest rates. Then it sells and guarantees loans on a secondary mortgage market. Currently, Fannie Mae, alongside its competitor Freddie Mac, purchases around 66% of America's mortgages. Before we dive any deeper, let's run through a brief history and overview of Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae was founded by Congress in 1938 as a government-sponsored enterprise to provide liquidity, stability, and affordability in the housing market. Before Fannie Mae's inception, mortgages came with strict terms that heavily favored lenders' rights. Fannie Mae changed the game by stimulating home ownership among low to moderate income borrowers. Initially, Fannie Mae was only able to purchase certain government-backed home loans. Then, in 1968, Congress transitioned the entity into a private corporation that went public after a round of sanctioned investments. Fannie Mae began buying other types of loans, including the conforming loans it's known for today. Fannie Mae's competitor, Freddie Mac, was charted two years later to serve a similar market and keep interest rates low. But in 2008, after guaranteeing a large number of risky subprime loans that underwent foreclosure, the U.S. Treasury was forced to bail out both government-sponsored enterprises to the tune of $190 billion. Since then, both institutions have been subjected to government conservatorship under the Federal Housing Finance Agency, with most of their earnings directed to the Treasury. Today, shareholders are challenging the legitimacy of the ongoing agreement in court, though Fannie Mae's day-to-day -day business remains unchanged. What does Fannie Mae do? Though Fannie Mae plays a crucial role in keeping the broader market liquid and healthy, it's not an originator. Instead, it works with larger banks, credit unions, and non-bank lenders to establish safe lending guidelines. Then, it purchases loans that meet these guidelines after closing, which means lenders are more willing and able to fund more mortgages and mortgage refinances down the line. How does Fannie Mae guarantee loans? Fannie Mae provides the money that underpins the bulk of conforming mortgages in the United States by buying loans straight from lenders. This guarantees that online mortgage lenders receive their money immediately, rather than over 30 years, which bulks up banks' cash reserves. Fannie Mae funds these purchases out of existing capital or borrowing from the U.S. Treasury under post-2008 agreements. In 2020 alone, Fannie Mae guaranteed roughly $1.4 trillion on the primary market, or around 6 million homes. Fannie Mae also guarantees the loans that it sells on the secondary mortgage market, but that's another matter entirely, one that has little to do with banks and homeowners. How Fannie Mae and the Secondary Mortgage Market Work After Fannie Mae fulfills its obligations on the primary market, it bundles hundreds or thousands of similar mortgages together into a mortgage-backed security. These asset-backed securities are sold on the open bond market as mutual funds or exchange-traded funds. Typically, these are purchased by institutions like insurance companies, investment funds, or pension funds that plan to enjoy guaranteed payments of principal plus interest. Fannie Mae also keeps a retained portfolio of mortgage-backed securities on hand, purchased with the aid of agency debt. Selling these securities creates the secondary mortgage market and ensures that Fannie Mae has enough cash on hand to fund its mortgage-buying endeavors. However, the practice does come with some risk. If a borrower defaults on their loan, Fannie Mae may be obligated to cover the investor's loss. To dampen this risk, VNMA sets various guidelines and regulations for lenders to use when vetting prospective homeowners. What are the requirements for a Fannie Mae loan? Though Fannie Mae isn't a lender, they work with lenders to make sure that homebuyers aren't handed loans they can't afford. 
This also ensures that Fannie Mae only buys loans it can resell later. Once a lender closes on a loan, Fannie Mae will purchase the loan from lenders, assuming the following requirements are met. Number one, lender compliance. Firstly, Fannie Mae won't purchase loans from lenders that don't comply with the statement of subprime lending issued by the federal government. This protects both Fannie Mae and low-income borrowers from predatory and subprime lending practices. Number two, loan size. Fannie Mae won't purchase jumbo loans that surpass the conforming loan limit, ranging from $548,250 in most of the United States to over $820,000 in more expensive locations. Number three, credit scores. Typically, borrowers with Fannie Mae-backed loans need a credit score median of 620, according to the three major credit bureaus, which are Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Number four, debt to income ratio. Debt to income ratios compare your before tax income to your monthly debt payments, such as your mortgages and car payments. Your debt to income can't exceed 43 to 45% for most mortgages, though some borrowers may be allowed up to 50%. Number five, down payment. For a one unit primary residence, Fannie Mae requires three to 5% down. However, larger down payments get better interest rates, and anything under 20% typically triggers private mortgage insurance, or PMI. Number six, cash reserves. Fannie Mae also requires that consumers have at least two to six months of reserve payments and savings to cover monthly mortgage payments in the event of financial hardship. The exact amount may vary based on your down payment, debt to income, or other factors. To wrap up, Fannie Mae is a government-sponsored enterprise that plays a significant role in funding the primary and secondary mortgage markets. While it doesn't lend to home buyers directly, it does ensure that banks have plenty of capital to do so. In turn, this keeps interest rates low and supports your goal of becoming an American homeowner within reach. If you like this video, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and join us every week as we break down personal finance topics in plain English. See you next week!